Uh, driving in the morning is awesome. So I was thinking about something. The severe lack of empathy and lack of believability. Follow me on something. So, I grew up middle class. Ish. Like, I was right there in the upper side of the middle class in the quality of life I lived. And if I had told my younger self what I would go through as an adult, like the people I grew up with, they don't believe half the stuff I've been through, unless they were there. And same thing with um, a lot of us is we can't get outside of ourselves, our own experiential reference, in order to determine, okay, is this viable? Is this true? When I tell my friends some of my life story, which none of them know the whole story, in fact, they, they probably cry. But when I tell my friends my life story, they don't believe me. When I told my sister my story, based on what other family members have done, she didn't believe me. And then years later, they're like, oh my God, that was true. <gasps> That's so horrible. Yeah. But they didn't believe because they had no experiential reference. They didn't think that it could be possible. And that's kind of a sad fact, is you become unbelievable until the other person that is looking at your experience finally has the exposure, either through direct inference or third party, like more and more and more people saying the same thing. But it always has to be somebody they can relate to, somebody that they trust. Because if you don't have that, and what ends up happening is it, it becomes unrelatable. That's why millionaires, billionaires, and all of that, they are disconnected horribly. And there's not much you can really do about it because they will never have some of the traumas that non-millionaires and billionaires have. Because keep in mind, most of the millionaire and billionaires out there right now are second or third generation. They're accumulated growth. It's why until you reach um, beyond the third generation of wealth, you're still in new money. It's a unique thing to look at. Because, for example, Black Lives Matter, right? We have no experiential reference for some of the traumas that they go through. And so we blow it off as, well, it's not that bad. Jesus. Same thing with a homeless person. Get a job! That's easy to say until you are homeless. And then finding a job is extraordinarily difficult. And when I say extraordinarily, I mean extraordinarily. It's, it's ridiculous. But at the same time, we like to look down on other people, which is why we don't help the homeless as much as we could like to look at them. It's why some people, um, like, I'm, I'm not going to use the other side of the tracks because the etymology is wrong for this situation, but it's the reason why um, some of us have heard those stories about how some families want to be on this side just to show off their wealth, like just on the border, so that the poor people can see them. There are people like that. And I mean... It's it's more a matter of mental development. Well, I'll say mental maturity. It's not just development, because you can develop in a whole bunch of different ways, but it's a lack of mental maturity to lack empathy and to not be able to at least consider an experience that somebody else is conveying to you. Now granted, there are plenty of liars out there that want to get some attention, get some fame. But when it comes to like Black Lives Matter, I didn't believe it until I saw it. And I saw it long before there was the Black Lives Matter movement. You see, my mentors, both of them are black. And when you have black friends and black girlfriends growing up, you get a different exposure 
I mean, it's a funny thing to be pulled over for driving with a black girlfriend and being told you better watch the company you keep. Now, I could still pick that officer out of a lineup. He deliberately cuffed me and set me into the only puddle in the parking lot. And I was a 16-year-old kid. I mean, he was just a bastard. But, I mean, to each their own. We don't have to accept other people's challenges. It's not something that we have to do. It's a matter of empathy. And most of us don't want to spend the mental energy. It's more convenient to say black lives don't matter or to ignore them and say, no, no, this is what I believe and look, there's proof. Because now we're validating our perspective and our belief system. And our values are determined by our belief systems. What do we believe? Like you can see news, but now apparently we have fake news. And the journalistic standards that applied of yesterday don't apply anymore. Now there are ways to work around them. Don't get me wrong. If you want to work around, find the loopholes, I mean, just look at Fox News. They do it left, right, up and down solely from the front of, okay, I can say it this way and still le be legally com compliant as a journalist or as a commentator. I mean, I'm pretty convinced that that's why they have Fox and Friends. I... But the reason we're downplaying um, Black Lives Matter or any of those groups the reason we've had to fight so hard for equality is because of the Alpha Beta Complex. It still exists. It's a part of us. It's ingrained into our genetics. Some of us are Alphas. Most of us are Betas. And I happen to be Omega. Which means I'm mostly indifferent. You know what I mean? But to each their own. Oh no, you're going to make me go around freaking maps. Uh, this is what happens when you're making videos while you're driving. But it's more a matter of mental fortitude, because if you go to another country like Japan, it's high context and a much higher level of education. There's so much more that rides on education in Japan. And they, even though they can't relate to some experiences, they will listen. They will say, wow, that is horrible. But, you know, it is what it is. Ah, fuck. You know, I can't even say that phrase without thinking of Trump anymore. Damn shame. See, I've got empathy for the people that died during this pandemic. It's just, it's a sad deal. A genuinely sad deal. All right, well, thank you, sir. I wish my window wasn't fogged. I would wave to him. I try to have some empathy. Literally every religion on the face of the planet says have empathy. Every religion, period. I don't care what you believe. If you claim to believe something, try acting it. But there's a reason why millionaires and billionaires are completely disconnected from us. And I mean, again, third generation is the make it or break it. So until you make it past third generation wealth, you're just entitled. Um, you're no money. But there are certain boundaries that will never be crossed. The homeless man will never be truly considered by the general populace because they have no incentive to. They really don't care. Which is kind of a damn shame, but, you know, six to one, half dozen the other. Folks, stay safe out there.